नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल आई एम गोन टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट संदेश काली आई एम गोन टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट शेख शाहजहां आई एम गोन टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट ममता बनर्जी आई एम गोन टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट तृणमूल कांग्रेस आई एम गोन टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स एंड आई एम गोन टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट इंडियंस एस आई एम गोन टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट डेमोक्रेसी आई एम गोन टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट इंडिपेंडेंस because all these words that i just used are all interconnected let's get right into the show my story starts with sandesh kali and i am sure a lot of you all must have heard quite well detailed story about sandesh kali so i am going to just limit to to topics that i need for my discussion Sandesh Kali, 24 North Parganas district in West Bengal, small little village, small little village. Nobody knew about this village. Nobody knew about this village till such time that the women of this village started alleging that uh, Trinamool Congress leaders are sexually assaulting them. They are calling them over to resorts and their offices and openly sexually assaulting them. That's how the story started. That's how. Sandesh Kali came into existence. That's how people started to know about Sandesh Kali. Now let me talk about PMC and this person called Sheikh Shah Jahan. Sheikh Shah Jahan was a leader of PMC. Now Sheikh Shah Jahan was a serial offender. Sheikh Shah Jahan was a serial offender because ED accused him of the public distribution scam, PDS scam, PDS scam. Me, what he what he used to do, according to ED and according to investigative agencies, that he would take a part of wheat and rice that was supposed to be distributed among the poor through PDS system. That is your ration shops. What was supposed to be distributed among the poor, he would take a part of it and sell it in black. That is how these people, him and his people, made money. The public distribution minister also, I am told. Was involved in this, so he is not the first time offender. He was a bahu bali or a goon, a goon of TMC sitting there with all the protection because nothing really happened to him, did it? Till such time that ED found out, and ED possibly found out because ED and other enforcement agencies were looking at uh, ruling party members and what they are doing, so they found it out. Acha, what did he do? He went and attacked ED. I remember doing an editorial. The fact that a person attacks our enforcement agencies, I asked you then, where is our democracy going? So that was what he was doing. Then another thing is what he was openly doing is grabbing land. These women, these families, small villages, small farmers, minuscule farmers who would eat two square meals out of that land, he would go grab that land, offer them six thousand rupees rent, which he would never pay, destroy their crops, dig their land, and breed fish in that land with the promise of paying six thousand rupees, which most of them never received. Openly he used to do it. Question kar, question karna hai to. That was his attitude. Why? Because government is our. Haven't we heard this many times in many states? Government is our. What can the police do? Government is our. My people are sitting there. Big deal. Haven't we heard this before? That's exactly what Sheikh Shah Jahan did. Then now his people and his goons. Sexually assaulting women, calling them over to the Trinamool Congress office and sexually assaulting them. This is what I wanted to talk to you about, Sheikh Shah Jahan. The fact is, it cannot be that Mamata Banerjee didn't know about Sheikh Shah Jahan. It cannot be that Mamata Banerjee was completely oblivious of what is happening and what Sheikh Shah Jahan was doing. She was completely oblivious. It cannot happen because normally, in my experience, a leader definitely knows what his people are doing. A leader definitely knows that some of his leaders, for some of his or her leaders, have no clean hands. They do not follow law. In fact, they are 
dominating, victimizing the people from their constituency. Leaders know it. A lot of leaders, they look the other way. And a lot of leaders encourage. Encourage such leaders. Encourage such leaders because gunda chahiye. Parties mein gunda chahiye. So you need these gundas. I don't know what Mamata Banerjee did, whether Mamata Banerjee was encouraging it or Mamata Banerjee was looking the other way. All said and done, Mamata Banerjee wouldn't have taken any action hadn't this issue come up to the stage, it did. So, I spoke to you about the case, I spoke to you about Shah Jahan Sheikh, I spoke to you about Mamata Banerjee, let me talk to you about police. The first reaction of police was a tweet wherein West, West Bengal police said willful misinformation being spread by section of media to mislead the people about the events in Sandesh Kali. This was the tweet of the police. They went on to say it is reiterated that no allegation of sexual torture of women have been so far received during the inquiries since conducted by the State Women's Commission and All Women 10 Member Fact Finding Committee led by DIG, CID and also the District Police. This was what the police said. The first reaction of the police kuch nahi hua hai. Kuch nahi hua hai. Now I'll tell you two things. I'll tell you two things and I'll tell you the, the reason why this is important. The reason why this is important is when a police tweets like this, a lot of us are on guard. Why? Because even after such tweet, wherein we say, no, we think there is something wrong. We think it is not fair. There is There are chances that they would summon us, take us to that particular state and possibly arrest us for spreading fake news. So a tweet like this ensures that people are quiet. Channels are quiet. One tweet like this. And that's exactly what West Bengal police did. Tweeted. Ab bolo. What happened later? It is the West Bengal police who investigated and now two people are under arrest. One Uttam Singh, Uttam Sardar, sorry, and uh, Shibu Hazra. They are under arrest. And what West Bengal police is doing? The fact is, Sheikh Saja is still at large. You see, I have been working with police from very early days in my life. As in, you know, as an advertising professional, I used to do a lot of ads for the police. So I have worked with police. I have a lot of friends who are police officers, top police officers, especially in Maharashtra. You see, one thing I will assure you with that experience, one thing I will assure you, if the police wants to find a person, and if that person is in India, I'm talking about police. If the person is in India, the police, Indian police, no matter which state, Indian police will find them, him or her in hours. Indian police has the wherewithal, the network, the talent, the, the might to identify that accused, find him from anywhere he is hiding in India within hours. Our police is capable. If the police is not finding the, the person, then there is some pressure on the police possibly to not find them. This is most often than not. Most often than not. Exceptions could be there. Most often than not. The fact is West Bengal police has not yet found Sheikh Saja. This is 3 o'clock in my watch and till now they have not found him. By the time it's aired, if they find him, I don't know. But as on now, they have not found him. So this is about West Bengal police. Now let me talk to you about politicians. The High Court Somoto took cognizance of the case. There's an investigation going on. The Minister for Women and Child, Ms. Priti Irani, spoke about this incident. Spoke about this incident, but this is what she spoke. The question is, can we as citizens be mute spectators? Who is this man who is 
चार्ज बाय द वुमेन ऑफ संदेश खाली ऑफ मास रेप ऑफ बेंगोली हिंदू वुमेन एंड आई से दिस बिकॉज दीज वुमेन वेन दे स्पोक टू द मीडिया लोकली सेड दैट दे वर पर्टिक्यूलरली आइडेंटिफाइड फॉर बींग मैरिड एंड हिंदू हिंदू वुमेन Hindu woman, a woman was sexually assaulted. Does it matter if it is a Hindu woman, a Muslim woman, a Sikh woman, a Christian woman, a Jew woman, a, a, a atheist? Would it matter? Is it more important for the minister of women and child to say that a woman was tortured the same way women were tortured in Manipur? Isn't that what? a minister for women and child should be talking about shouldn't that the reason that women and child minister should be angry i want to give you two definitions one is the definition of democracy government by the people a form of government in which the supreme power is vested in the people and exercised directly by them or by their elected agents under free electoral system this is the concept of democracy the concept of swarajya independence is the state of being free and not controlled by another person or a country these two definitions i have given you and i really want you to write down in the comment box below whether do you think that you live in a democracy whether you think whether we are independent as indians i like i told you have five questions to put forward question number 1 who does the police the enforcement agencies and the entire system work for do they work for the people because in this case and a lot of other cases we don't work find them working for the people they work for the system पुलिस फर्स्ट एयर ऐसा कुछ हुआ ही नहीं हुआ ही नहीं नथिंग एपन यू नो आई वॉज गोन शेयर विथ यू दिन सी आर बी क्राइम रिपोर्ट अगेंस्ट वीमेन क्राइम अगेंस्ट वीमेन एंड ऑल दैट आई डिसाइडेड नॉट टू आई डिसाइडेड नॉट टू बिकॉज इज द सेम पुलिस दैट मेक्स ऑल दीज रिपोर्ट नो द सेम पुलिस इज दैट नथिंग एपन हु डज द पुलिस वर्क फॉर हु डज द सी बी आई वर्क फॉर हु डज द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट वर्क फॉर बिकॉज द ओनली केसेज दैट वी हियर इज वेन one political party wants to put down the other political party one political party wants to pull people from the other political party one political party wants to destroy the other political party if that's not the case nothing happens there is no cbi there is no ed there is nothing finished you are raided because you have done something against the the ruling party or you said something against the ruling party that's why you are raided not because you did something wrong rape doesn't get uh, impetus here the crime against women doesn't get impetus here but if you are in the opposition and you did something you know which uh, the the ruling party can nail you that's where you're nailed and that's where the cbi comes in and that's where the ed comes in the police speaks what the government wants it to speak we saw it here the first time they say nothing and don't spread misinformation second time they go and catch two criminals so that's my first question who does our enforcement agencies our police work for my second question is do we have rulers instead of uh, instead of representatives i'll tell you why i'll tell you why because even now people are hooting for mamata banerji even now a lot of women in west bengal says that no no mamata banerji must not be knowing all this believe me you like i told you before You can't have a goon in a party till such time that the party leader is aware of that. Normally, most often than not, ninety-nine percent the party leader is aware that the person she is he or she is dealing with is not is either corrupt, he is 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 a goon. He he his hands are not clean, like I told you. He victimizes people. People know it. Leaders know it. The fact is, after all this, people still are with Mamata Banerjee. was it surprising no after all this people are still with biren singh in manipur biren singh is still the chief minister 
The Prime Minister, I am told, is going to Sandesh Kali, but the Prime Minister never went to Manipur. Nobody to ask. If you ask, you are aided. Nobody to ask. So what? What democracy are we talking about? Are we ruled by our representatives or are we ruled by rulers? My question number two. My question number three is aren't we created? Haven't we been the reason why all of this is happening? All of this is happening. Because again, we vote for a leader. That leader may be with one ideology today, tomorrow he will be with the other. He jumps parties for his own own selfish reason and we follow him like a herd of sheep. The concept of democracy we have forgotten and the point is somewhere down the line most of these leaders now take us to be animals without self-respect. I won't even call people. Animals without self-respect. Hamko self-respect ka hai? The leader jumps party and he knows that his people will vote for him whichever party is there. How does it matter? Who is he reporting to? Either he asks you for your vote or he takes your vote or he threatens you to give his vote, your vote to him, him or her. So aren't we responsible for this? Are crimes now reduced to political realm? Which means that if a crime has a political ramification, like the Smithy Rani spoke uh, about uh, Sandesh Kali, I don't see Smithi Rani having said much about Manipur. So isn't crime limited to political realm? Political advantage ke liye, if you have a crime, you stand for it. Otherwise, if there is no political ramification, no political relevance, you forget about it. The last question I ask you, and I want to end my editorial with it. Do we value ourselves? Do we have any self-respect? Do we exist as we, with our own mind, our own will, or we just do things because we have to finish things off and, and move on with our life. We are so busy to ensure that we earn our two square meals, that we have forgotten the fact that we are independent, we have a free mind, free will. Have we forgotten that fact? Have we forgotten that fact? We live in a democracy. Have we ever bothered to ask? Why a chief minister like Mamata Banerjee entertained people like Sheikh Shaja in her party knowing that this man is a criminal? Have you ever bothered to ask as to why the West Bengal uh, police initially just said that everything is misinformation and then later on when things blew, blew up, they went and started arresting people. Have we bothered to ask? Have we bothered to ask why is the Prime Minister going to Sandesh Kali and the Prime Minister never bothered to go to Manipur? Are we asking as to why the Minister of Woman and Child bothered about whether the victims are Muslims, Hindus or whatever? Did we ask these questions? Did we ask the question as to why are people still supporting Mamata Banerjee in West Bengal? Shouldn't she be responsible for this? Why Viren Singh still there in Manipur? And why is the Prime Minister not held responsible for all of this? Finally, it is under his watch, isn't it? Are we asking these questions? Are we asking questions about people just jumping parties? As to finally, does our vote count? Why are we not asking these questions? Are we living in a democracy? And that's why I say, do we have self-respect? Because finally, kuch bhi chalta hai, yaar. And that's what the politician te treats you like. Kuch bhi chalta hai. That's the point I wanted to make till I see you next time. That is tomorrow at 10. Namaskar. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shots in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.